Hello, viewers. Uh, permit me to use this opportunity to uh, briefly call your attention to what is called set theory, which is actually a branch of mathematics uh, that deals with um, the properties of well divine collections of objects, which may or perhaps, you know, sometimes it may not be a mathematical nature. You know, it may be a kind of numbers or function. But one important thing is that um, set theory is supposed to group objects together. You know, to form a single entity. You know, it's like a well divine collection of objects. You know, these objects, uh, they're called elements or the members of the set. So, in this video, I'm going to call your attention to the importance, the significance of studying set theory. Number one, cognitive development. You know, when, you, when students spend quality time um, studying set theory, it will actually help them a lot to develop what is called critical thinking skills, you know. Because one thing about set theory is that it requires analyzing and manipulating sets to solve problems. And then another thing is that um, it helps students to enhance their problem-solving skills. Because uh, at times, you have to just break down complex problems into simpler subsets, you know. So when students spend quality time, you know, studying set theory, it's, most times it always helps them to develop a, a cognitive uh, part of them. You know, in terms of cognitive development, it's always very good. One thing that has been confirmed is that um, uh, studying set theory, it could actually help someone to improve their working memory. You know, because it requires students to hold and manipulate sets in their memory. For instance, if you are working with any set theory, any set questions, you need to remember the element of that set in order to work with it. So, in terms of neurological benefits, set theory can be recommended. Even that's not all alone. Other one is um, it enhances cognitive flexibility. You know, because um, that set theory we're talking about it helps to develop cognitive flexibility. The reason is because you know it requires adapting to new sets and relationships. You know. You have to relate how two sets are how two sets are related, and in order to gain insight and use it to solve problems. So, in terms of neurological benefits, uh, studying set theory can actually help us to improve our working memory and then to enhance our cognitive flexibility. Whenever we are talking about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, hmm, we cannot joke with set theory because set theory is just like a crucial foundation for STEM. It's a crucial foundation for STEM because it includes computer science because they are dealing with set theories. Engineering, they are dealing with set theories. Physics, they are dealing with set theories. So, set theory, that is the reason why you see many students offering MTS 101, you know, because you know, MTS 101 is called Introductory to Mathematics, So, and which is like a foundation. So, since this topic, set theory, it's going to help a lot. It's going to help a lot to uh, all students offering uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So lastly, math set theory is like a fundamental branch of mathematics. You know, that is the reason why it's the first topic you have to learn. It's a fundamental branch of mathematics because it provides a kind of framework for divining and manipulating mathematical structures. And then not all about that. It also helps us to understand um, advanced mathematical concepts such as um, topology or algebra analysis those in sciences we always need this you know they, they can't run away from it they can't run away from it because um you have to deal with topologies related problems algebra and analysis so test set theory is also another thing it helps for mathematical foundation so at this point i can tell you that you are welcome so let's start the class